More than 40,000 babies are born each year with congenital heart defects, which makes it the most common birth defects. Now with us to discuss this serious problem are some special guests who are working with an organization called Mended Little Hearts. Leading the fight to help families struggling with this is Jennifer Page, the mother of a young actor, Max Page, best known as Little Darth Vader from the Super Bowl ad. She's joined by Dr. David Ferry, a leading cardiologist from Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. Angeles where Max was treated. Thank you both so much for joining us. Thanks for having us. You're welcome. Jennifer, let's start with how did you first find out that Max was dealing with a heart problem? Uh, you know, I was actually blindsided. I went in on my 38 week appointment and everything had gone fine up to that point. They did not get a good heartbeat on him during that appointment, so they took him emergency C section. And the next day, we discovered he had a condition called Tetralogy of Fallot, a congenital heart defect that would require open heart surgery. So we had that first surgery at three months old, and then uh, shortly after, he had a St. Jude medical pacemaker put in um, because he had an arrhythmia problem develop as well. So. You know, we're just, uh, we're just here to say you can live these great lives, but you do need to seek out intervention as quickly as possible. And I love that that's the message that we're, we're putting out there today. And doctor, you were actually at the hospital that, you know, where Max basically his life was saved. How common is this for, for children? We're seeing it, it's, you know, one of the most common birth defects, but kind of put that into perspective for us. Well, you know, people don't think of it as common, but it is. It's the leading cause of, uh, of death from a congenital defect in infancy. Babies have uh, serious heart problems that are, are very sick. There's 40,000 babies a year delivered in the U.S. that have heart problems. Half of those require intervention or surgery. So in the greater Tucson area, there's babies born every day that have, can have developmental heart problems that will ultimately need to have surgery or interventions, many times, many of uh, several interventions. So, uh, but we're here to give a, a, a message of hope, too, that the partnership between the global medical device maker, St. Jude Medical, and Mend Mended Little Hearts uh, have collaborated to get a, give people a great website, sjm.com slash weheartkids. That's a great resource for families to go to when they have questions on these issues. And like you're saying, this isn't you know, a problem uh, that, that's happening somewhere else. This is happening right here in our, our own community. So we wanna definitely get a message out to everyone. Doctor, what would you say are some early signs or something that a parent should be looking out for? Well, it, they're, if they have signs, typically it's early on in the first couple weeks or month where the baby doesn't look the correct color. Some of these defects, such as Max had, can give a bluish color to the skin. They can feed poorly, breathe quickly, not gain weight well. So any of these symptoms really should be attended to, jumped upon by the parents, bring the baby into the doctor's office, have the doctor take a look at the baby and see if it's uh, important or relevant to pass them on to special in pediatric cardiology to have these uh, symptoms evaluated further. So early, early detection and early getting them in uh, to have an evaluation is very important. And Jennifer, you had actually said that uh, before. So what is it coming from a firsthand perspective? Would you give advice to some parents maybe going through this? I would say get connected, go to the, like we said, go to the resource sjm.com backslash weheartkids. You'll be led to a community of people as well through Mended Little Hearts. There's 90 chapters across the country of uh, families just like me waiting to help plug in and, and help do life together because there's a lot more than just what happens at the hospital or an appointment with these kids. There's a whole life journey that we're on together. So just get connected and plugged in as quickly as you can because then you'll also see it's a really beautiful thing. 10 years ago, we didn't have anything like this. And and so I didn't even know what we were hoping for and just wishing for a chance with Max. And, you know, we've been blessed with this great big full life. And his, his story is not uncommon. His story is the norm for heart kids. So just um, be blessed and get help as soon as you can. Well, doctor, thank you so much for all of the information medically. And Jennifer, thank you for sharing your story and giving everyone out there that may be going through this, uh, you know, the support to know they're not the only one. Mm -mm. Thank you. It's important. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Jennifer, one more time, go ahead and give us the website that people can go to get some more information. It's sjm.com slash weheartkids. Weheartkids. Thank you both so much again for joining me this morning. Thank you. Thank you. And don't go anywhere. The Morning Blend will be right back.